What do you do when the product you need isn't being manufactured? You create it. That's just what Freightliner founder Leland James did in 1942. He wanted a lighter, more durable truck that could haul greater payload. His engineers developed a unique cab-over engine design that incorporated aluminum. The result is one of the most recognized names on the highway today, Freightliner. Build a better vehicle. It remains the driving force behind our success today. A subsidiary of Daimler Chrysler, Freightliner is the leading heavy-duty vehicle manufacturer in North America. Our brands represent a wide variety of the commercial vehicle market with trucks, buses, chassis, and emergency equipment. The respect our name demands is due to a reputation for innovation and strict quality standards. To maintain these standards, our vehicles must meet stringent structural durability, sometimes called torture track, performance requirements. This type of rigorous testing requires a dedicated staff, facility, unique equipment, and a specialized track to achieve the performance our customers demand. In 1980, we began testing at the Bendix Automotive Proving Grounds, now owned by the Robert Bosch Corporation. The Bosch Torture Track and other facilities offer enhanced analysis capabilities for Freightliner. This is the start of Freightliner's uh, structural durability course. It takes twice around this course, which is 1.9 miles around. We're on the first lap and we're going to encounter five sets of inverted chatter bumps. Here's the first set. Next event we encounter what we call the impact bump road. Next event is the undulating road. It primarily induces maximum suspension travel in both directions. This road dates back to Studebaker days. Studebaker originally built this facility in 1926. This road is pretty well maintained. We're traveling in today is an M2 all-wheel drive crew cab. We're going to travel a little dirt road since it's considered a vocational vehicle. Next event we're going to encounter here is the frame twisting staggered bumps. They're a slow speed event that uh, twists the chassis. And since this is an all-wheel drive vehicle, we travel through what's called the frame twist ditch. Uh, we stop prior to that event and engage it into all wheel drive and low range. And we basically creep through this event, which is a diagonal ditch, uh, 10 inches deep. At this point here, they all wheel drive. Necessity. The odd lap, we travel what's called the truck cobblestone road, coming up right now. Bump Road next. And the final portion, we're going to again encounter a dirt road section, primarily all downgrade. Nice mix of dust, chatter bumps, chuck holes. Uh, Follow up the first lap with a fairly high deceleration stop. Check the ABS. Working nicely. Initially, we utilized one work bay with a single engineer and technician. 
Today, we employ four Freightliner technicians and utilize 14 full-time Bosch employees, plus one driver for each operational vehicle. Our test operations are ongoing 24 hours a day, at least six days a week. As we expanded, the need arose for a larger, more centralized facility with enhanced capabilities and equipment. The facilities and planning group work to develop a new 24,000 square foot facility to meet the needs of Freightliner's test engineering group. Completed on May 16, 2005, it includes 16 bays with three overhead cranes and a 45 foot long pit. Technicians now have a dedicated space for documentation to complete their reports, plus a variety of improvements over the old facility that help our technicians complete their tasks more efficiently and comfortably, such as a new computer network system of hardwired and wireless computers, a new machine shop and material support area, and 20 feet overhead clearance in all the bays. This new facility, combined with the rugged conditions of the bump course, skid pad, and banked oval track, offer Freightliner the opportunity to really push our trucks to the limit. It also provides the necessary accommodations to test new components or even entirely experimental vehicles. Innovation, consistent quality, and assured customer satisfaction are still our guiding principles. They're evident in the design and scope of this new test facility, which will carry out that mission. Destructive evaluation of this kind is costly, but necessary. We are pleased to invest in the quality of our product so our customers can continue to rely on the Freightliner name.